Good morning, folks. My name's Steve Talley. Uh, I was born and raised here in Mount Airy. I've lived here all my life. Uh, today we're going to do a tour of, of Mount Airy, Andy Griffith's home place. So if we're ready to go, let's kick this puppy in the rear and we'll get out of here. Here we go. We're at Squad Car Tours on South Main Street in Mount Airy at Wally Service Station. Uh, we have six cars every year of the show except 1966. And we'll have a variety of cars most any time when you come for the tour. We're driving right. a 1965 Ford. And you know our neighbors love us after hearing that 50, 60 times a day. Oh yeah. Well, Stark, we made it. Yeah. We're here for Mayberry Days. And I figured uh, what better place to start than a uh, Galaxy Squad car. Nice. And uh, we're going to cruise through uh, Mount Airy, which is Andy Griffith's hometown. Let's talk about Andy Griffith. Uh, Andy was born in 1926. Uh, his dad's name was Carl Lee Griffith. His mother's name was Geneva Griffith. Andy's parents, like so many people during the Depression, were very poor. Andy and his parents lived with their relatives until 1935, until Andy's dad was able to afford a house and move on his own. Now, when Andy was a baby, his dad could not afford a bed for him and he had to sleep in a dresser drawer. If during the night your baby starts crying, what do you do? Shut the drawer. That's exactly right. And that's where that famous term shut up came from. Shut up, oh, I get it. Now, if you believe that, I have some land in Florida I'd love to see you too. As we go around the curve, you'll see the Grace Moravian Church. This building was built in 1925. Okay. But Andy started going to church here. These other pieces were later added on. One of the most popular movies he did was called No Time for Sergeants. Oh, no Time for Sergeants. Right? I'm sure you're familiar with that. He also did several other movies, but one that gave him a lot of notoriety was called A Face of the Crowd that was done with Patricia Neal. Okay, we're going through our downtown. I'm gonna stop about Andy for just a second. Now, most of these buildings were all here when Andy was growing up, but there are only very few businesses that are still here in Mount Airy when Andy was born. Now, on the left, You'll see the big clock, that used to be the First National Bank. That's now the Mount Airy Chamber of Commerce and Visitor Center. And of course, you'll see it's right beside the Barney's Cafe. Barney's Cafe. Good, how you doing? All right, just thought I'd say good morning. All right, we'll see you soon. All right. I'm sure you remember Ellie Walker in the show. If you look on your right, you'll see Walker Soda Fountain. That was the name for Ellie Walker. And it's like going back in time when you go in there. I love that place. It's got the checkerboard floors, the red bottom stools, chrome legs. When I was growing up, that was the high school hangout. That was one of the four drugstores on Main Street in Mount Airy. On the left, you'll see the famous Earl Theater. Oh, look at that, Ronnie Shell. <laughs> on the right, you'll see a place called Cash A Check. That, when Andy was growing up, was the Grand Theater. That's one of the places Andy worked when he was a boy, was in the Grand Theater, beside of Opie's Candy Store, oh, yeah. Floyd's famous city barbershop, Snappy Lunch, and the world famous Snappy Lunch. My favorite. Now folks, if you go in there, I would recommend the pork chop sandwich. Oh, I get it every year. It's so good it brings tears to a fat boy's eyes. <laughs> now, their biscuits are good too, and as you can tell, I'll eat a couple of them. I thought last year I would maybe enter the pork chop eating contest, but then uh, someone called me and said, well, there's a guy who's on number seven. And when I heard that, I turned right around and I said, <laughs> there's no way I'm gonna eat seven. Hello, Ronnie. Hey. The most famous building in the Mount Airy, the Andy Griffith Museum. Oh yeah, the museum. A wonderful place. And of course today is a part of Mayberry Day's experience. And you'll see the statue of Andy and Opie. And that was donated by TV Land and they maintain it. Now, well, here's the Andy Griffith Playhouse. Okay. Now, early on, that was the auditorium for Rockford Street Elementary School, which sat where the parking lot is. Andy's first performance in front of a group of people was in the third grade. He did a little song and dance called Put On Your Old Gray Bonnet. He and a friend of his named Albert McKnight were supposed to perform together. Andy said, when 
their time came to perform, Andy said, I stood up. Albert never moved. <laughs> and he said, I don't know what possessed me, but I walked up on stage and I did two courses of Put On Your Old Gray Bonnet, and it brought the house down. We know what happened to Andy. We don't know what happened to Albert. Yeah, yeah. Now, Andy Works came- at the Granite Quarry. <laughs> <laughs>